Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on an Acer Nitro 5. This is going to be the 8th gen, the AN515 model. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your speakers. So first thing guys, power down the computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. Then we're going to flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. We're going to go all the way around the outside of this computer, take out all the screws, all the way around the outside edge. You get these screws in the middle here, and we're gonna need to take out this screw for the hard drive cover right there. So after you have all those screws taken off, we're gonna pop open this hard drive cover, put a pry tool in, in this corner right there, pop that hard drive cover up, and then you're gonna see your hard drive exposed in the caddy right there. This caddy has four screws, two on each side, these two, this one, and this one. We're gonna take out all those screws, and when you do that, grab this tab right here on top, pull the hard drive out carefully, and then unplug it from this connector right there. Once you do that, uh, we can take off this bottom case safely. So after that's done and all the screws are out, you're gonna take a small flat pry tool. I generally suggest plastic pry tools because they scratch your computer less, but in this case, I needed a metal one. I needed that extra strength. Um, the plastic pry tool wasn't getting it done. so. Uh, in this case, I'll suggest a, a metal pry tool. And you're gonna go along this seam right here. You're gonna flip your computer over again. This is your bottom case. This is your touchpad and your palm rest here. And that's your seam. You're gonna get in there and slowly go around the entire seam, pry it up from the bottom case. When you're done, you can even press down here. When the hard drive's gone, you can press down there and take up the bottom case once you've uh, pried it up all the way across. After you've removed your bottom case, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, just as a computer repair side note, guys, whenever I'm operating on a computer, I have it sitting on an anti-static pad. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything when you're working on your computer. If you guys need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll be a list of all the uh, tools and supplies that I use in my shop. Also in that list will be a list of all the replacement parts and upgrade parts for this specific uh, Nitro 5. Now before doing anything in a computer, guys, the first thing I do is either remove or at least unplug my battery. It makes it safer to work on a computer when as little power as possible is running through it. So I'll show you how to remove the battery if you want to and how to unplug it. So here's your battery right there. To get the battery out, you have a screw here on the right and here on the left. You would take those screws up and then this battery plugs in with these wires right here on the motherboard and it's a pretty easy plug. You don't wanna pull on wires in a computer as much as possible. You wanna just manipulate the plug if you can. So with this plug, it's very easy. You'll see in your computer, guys, is a grip right here on the left and on the right so you can use your fingernails and pull it out or you can use a pry tool and push it out of this port but that's how you would get that battery out. So now that your battery has been removed or at least unplugged it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer um, although guys you may find it easier to remove the battery because the speaker wire does come down through here. So you have your first speaker there right on the left side of my screen it's connected by this blue and white wire all the way down here switches over there and then plugs into this speaker here. So the plug to the motherboard is actually in the middle right here. The wire comes up, it's a black wire, comes up near the battery over here and plugs into the motherboard right there. So it's kind of a weird way that they did that, but it plugs into the motherboard right there. Now these speakers are not screwed down. You see these rubber washers that just sit over those posts for sound insulation. So you can just wiggle those right off of those posts. They're not screwed down. And then right here, you would put your fingernails or a pry tool on either end of that plug, and you can get that plug right out of the port there after taking this tape off to free it up. Now, I will have some speaker replacement options below in the description in that link I told you about with all the replacement and upgrade parts for this computer. I'll try to have a couple speaker options in there if you guys are having trouble finding those. As a last side note, if you're having speaker or sound issues, it could be that your speakers are bad and need to be replaced, but it also could be a system or a driver issue. 
So before you go in and change your speakers out, because that's that's very involved, before you do that, try processing all of your driver updates and your system updates. There'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll be a video link tutorial on how to process all of your updates for your computer. But this is how you would get inside and access your speakers in the Nitro 5. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.